Florian, we're, we're here today talking about Audi and your self-driving cars to a certain extent. Can you tell us what they do? Yeah, our piloted cars uh, can park themselves as we display at that booth or drive and traffic jams to uh, help the driver come to his destination and relax. Okay, so uh, what, sort of, uh, what sort of technology are we talking about? What, what have you been doing? Yeah, at this booth here you can see two different features that we have. One is a car that uh, will back into a spot between two other cars after finding that spot and you can have it back out again to uh, comfortably get the luggage in and then drive off manually. So the, the next thing you have, you can see in the background, we have the garage park feature uh, where the car is piloted uh, to the garage and you can have the smartphone out again and get the car back if you want. Okay, so what sort of technology in the car is enabling it to not drive into the garage or crash into a car when it's parking? Yeah, the big thing towards serious development is just uh, to have the technology on a small ECU and that's what we're uh, displaying at CES 2014 here. Uh, last year we had the trunk full of PCs and racks and whatever and uh, this year we have an empty trunk and uh, you can have a look at the trunk uh, if you like, and you would see nothing but our new ZFast computing system. Uh, on that ZFast computing system that is attached to all the sensors that we have, uh, we just compute everything we need for piloted functions. Okay, so what sort of sensors are we talking about? Is it like your parking sensors that you can see in many cars now? Yeah, right. That's exactly the point. We're using uh, sensors that are already in serious uh, production cars. Mm. So we have uh, ultrasonic sensors down there. We have top view cameras around the vehicle, we have radar sensors, and as a special feature, we have a laser scanner that is not yet in production cars, but uh, we expect that sensor to hit the uh, production cars soon. So the laser sensor, is that sort of like the like you see on the Google self-driving cars, because that's got a sensor on its roof, isn't it? Yeah, that's uh, quite a bit different, yeah. as our sensor is about that size of uh, <laughs> just a little box, and uh, we don't have to put anything on the roof, and that's all about what we do here at Audi. We want to have the car look nice and have the technology sure. fully integrated into our cars. So um, is this, uh, obviously, how soon will you have this in production models, do you think? Uh, right now, we expect that technology to hit the market in within the next five years. Yeah. And that's mainly due to legislation, which, uh, restrictions I suppose. Yeah, as you can see from our demonstrations here, technical things are pretty much solved and now we're waiting for legislation to come. Okay, so uh, uh, so with the legislation in place, for example, what sort of other things would you like to be able to do with the sort of driver assistance? Oh, there's a lot you can imagine when it comes to piloted cars. Uh, as we want to take the first step with the ZFAS system in the cars, this enables us to a lot of functions like uh, maybe last year we displayed pilot parking in parking garages where you could uh, really walk off and uh, you could think about a lot of features.